All right, so I'm gonna show you how this little tool here works. It's the jig. We got two holes right there, which are gonna line up with the top of this. Now, it allows you, it sits, the bottom piece sits on the side of the wire, and that allows this to align perfectly with inside this hole. When it's inside the hole, this ring, this opening, sits perfectly around this ring on top of it, but sits around the screw. So basically it's uh, big enough for the screw to go through, but not big enough for this. The reason why is this piece must be tensioned down and kept aligned in order for you to screw this back in. But because it's two pieces and because of the spring, it makes it a little awkward. And uh, if you screw up, you end up breaking your servo. These things aren't cheap. So yeah, easier to have the tool, get it done, and not like this thing's very hard to print. So. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. I'm going to slide it in there. And yes, it is a little difficult, but that's kind of the goal. Actually, wait, doing it wrong. <laughs> yep, don't do it that way. Do it this way. Top end first and slip it in. Now it's in there. You may be able to see the screw in there. But not too well because it's black, but whatever. So, go ahead and take our handy little tool here. We're gonna pop this out. So, you're gonna hold here. I recommend put your index or your pointer finger there, and your thumb here. And then, you just unscrew. But, because it's spring-loaded, it will want to rock back and forth very easily, and that's why you're holding it like this, and the tool kind of helps keep everything in place. And then, you eventually get the screw out of there. Or, worst case scenario, just go ahead and slip it down, and finish taking out the screw. And there you go. So this comes with two pieces. You got the main spring part. Yeah. Super exciting. And then you have the inner piece, which is indexed at the top. But that's going to be kind of hard to show here. Uh, you can see kind of a little lip right there in the corner, upper to left, right next to the ball. Um, that spring, the little piece on top, that little index part goes in the index on the middle of the middle smaller piece. And it looks something like that. Much like what you just took out and hopefully you paid attention to what you took out. Now, when you're installing the new one, um, you're going to need to index this and the way this works is for the shift servo specifically, it sits like this when it's in low gear. So basically what you do is you'd set it to low gear with the vehicle on and let it rotate all the way back and then index it. Once you get it indexed, and you can kind of figure out how you want to do that, um, that's your own mission to figure out. Once you got that though, I highly recommend plug this into your steering and turn the vehicle back on assuming you turned it off before that hopefully you did and uh, once you got it in there then turn the vehicle back on and it'll actually center your servo so that's the reason why you indexed it but now with it centered when you go to tighten it the chances of you breaking your gears is a lot less because it's not all the way locked one to one side but either way once you got it um, in my case I'm actually going to install it just the way it should be because I, well, there's a special story here, which I'm not going to tell you. Either way, you get it in there, just like we, uh, basically doing what we just did in reverse to pull it out, pop your screw in, your driver, and then push your screw in. It's a slightly tight fit, so you do have to push it in, and then just slowly tighten it down and you're really really paying attention to how things feel here because you're gonna feel it start to bottom out right there that feels like it 
but do not tighten it all the way, otherwise you will snap a gear. Uh, trust me, ask me why I know. Two servos. Sucks. Um, but there you have it. Installed, and uh, technically nothing would have been broken. So, enjoy, and uh, there's another arsenal of tools to your collection. Thank you.